Hello, you lovely lot. It's Gran here with another episode of Zawa Together. And as you know, we are doing the rodents and small animals section, and we just have a couple more animals to fit in here. Today, it's going to be the black-footed ferret, as you know from the title, because I keep giving it away. So I'm going to put the black-footed ferret next to the skunks. I don't think they'll mind. It's not going to be a very big one because I've only got two black-footed ferrets. Uh, probably about, let's leave a couple, maybe three for the edging. So it's going to go in here. And this was where the wall was. And I took that down because I'm actually building that wall around the zoo now as I go along. So let's just see. I think we'll have it probably about that long maybe uh, a bit, bit wider than that obviously there's only uh, three blocks wide there probably about here there we go and I want it to be a, a rectangular shape as you can see because I don't want it to stick out anymore on this side right I want to try and make this side an odd number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That will do, I think. And we'll just have a little bit of a round edging on here. As round as you can make it, that is. Right, another little bit out there. And a bit out of the middle. Right. Let's have a look at this side. What's that look like? Uh, I think that might be big enough. We'll see as we go along anyway, we can always push it out a little bit more. But I'm thinking they're only little ferrets. Right, I need to get rid of this gravel and this stone. So I'll just do that. Now I was thinking of trying some glass up for the edging on this one. I'm not sure if that will look okay, but I'm going to have a go. So I need to get rid of one block all the way around and then put my favourite andesite on. There we go, that's nearly done. There we go. Okay, that's not looking too bad. Right, let me put some ladders in so I can get out. Right, now I think it's time for the grass. You know how I like a blank canvas to work from? So I'll just swap this over. Right, now for the walls. You know, now I've done that, I'm thinking, I don't think it's going to look as good with only one layer of the wood and the leaves. Well, I've been looking at it for a while and I just don't think this is going to work. I think I'm going to, I think I'll just continue with the same design as I've been using it in this, in this area and just keep it consistent. There we go. I feel that is going to be much better. There we go, keeping it consistent. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy with that now. And of course, I've got the stone brick stairs to go on the outside. Whoa, not like that. Right, so that is my blank canvas. So now I need to decide what tree type we're going to use for this one. Right, let's have a look in the book and see what it says about black footed ferrets. Oh, there it is. Okay. These plucky polecats prey almost exclusively on prairie dogs. Up to 90% of their diet is black-tailed prairie dogs. When prairie dog populations were decimated by ranching, exacerbated by plague as well as canine distemper, black-footed ferrets were almost wiped out. Captive breeding and zoos played a big part in bringing ferrets back to the frontier. Okay. Well, it doesn't say much about the habitat there, so I'm going to have a look in the wiki and try and decide which type of tree we're going to be using. Right, well, I could have used quite a lot of different trees, but I've decided on the jacaranda. And I've got my two ferrets, which I'm just going to put in there, and the jacaranda logs. I haven't got so many of them, actually. Now, I did get a bit distracted, and I've done a bit of pathing around here, but we need to get back to this. So I'm going to do first things first and start with the walls. Right, OK, got the grass down, and... Let's see how this looks. I don't know if I need to incorporate some wool. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, so 
the book. Put that in there. Put that in there. Hmm. I don't like that it looks different on one block to another. So I think I will use some wool. And of course, it'll have to be purple wool. Right. I've got my purple wool. Let's put some in and see if that makes much difference. Oh, I don't know why I'm using the pick. Let me use my shovel. There we go. Right. Get this wool in. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let me just pick these up and we'll try the leaves on top and see what that looks like. Um, put the normal ones in. Nice. There you go. Love it. Love it. Right, let me get the rest done. And just this last corner to do. Take those off and take those off. So I can put the grass down there. I can put the wool up there. And then I can put the leaves in there. Nice. There we go. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so I think I'd like to have a tree on this end. Uh, let me see. Round about there, I think. Not too tall, though. Uh, <laughs> it's going to have a, a leaf on top. Um, let's have a look. Oh, I don't want the edges of these to, to show through. I'm going to have to go and get some more logs. These are the last that I've got. Right, let's just pop these there. And it's not going to be very big and it's not going to be, it's not going to be very sculptured. Let me just get another few of these. There we go. Right. Let's see if we can make this look like a tree. I mean, the jacaranda trees aren't very complicated, really. And it's mostly the leaves hanging down. So that's what I'm going to do on here and see what this looks like. I'm going to add some flowering ones as well, but... Uh, there are some indigo ones as well. I'm not sure if I should put those up or not. Let's just do a mix of them and see what that looks like. Uh, don't want that on there. Let's do there. Uh, let's get some around the back as well. I, oh, I, let me just put a flowering one in the middle there. I do like these trees. I love the colours of them. Let's pop this on here. That's an indigo jacaranda. And uh, I'm just going to mix these colours up a bit. Oops, I didn't want to take those both off. Let's pop one of those there. And another one there. Let's have a look. Let's have... Uh, around this side, I think. Let's mix it up around this side. Put another one on there. the ordinary ones on now I think plain one there that's not too bad uh, I don't want it to be too even but it's looking quite even I quite like that actually that's not too bad <laughs> okay and just here I want something for them to climb on so they can get closer to whoever's looking. And I've just got these two left and then I'll need to go and get some more logs. Yep. All right, I've come to spawn to get some amaranth leaves and logs because I know there are some here. There we go. So we'll go onto the outer edges because I don't want to uh, take too much out of that's near spawn. I want that to stay the same. But if I take down a whole tree, nobody will notice, I don't think. There we go. There we go. And you can see the amaranth fields that the jacaranda trees are in. So I'm going to be using a lot of these colourful flowers in the exhibit. Nice. And I should be looking round to see if I can find any more ferrets as well. 
Well, no sign of any ferrets, so it's back home I go. Right, let's get back to it then. I've got my jacaranda logs. Uh, there they are. Okay, let's add a few more down this way. And I'm just going to have this in the middle. It's not going to go out too far and it's not going to be too high either. Um, I just want the different sides of the logs to be shown here. Put some down there and then maybe an upended one sort of down here. Yep, and maybe another one there. There we go. Yeah, that looks all right. And down here, I think I'm going to have a little stream stroke spawn spawned pond even um let me see um just like a stream i think really rather than a pond it's just gonna go i'm just gonna take it over this way take it round here all the way around here and another one there i think yeah bit of coarse dirt in the bottom there uh oh, i need to uh, pick that out i think there we go and uh, I should need to move that. In fact, I think I might put a light in there. Let me get that out and dig down a bit more. There we go, right down at the bottom. And, ooh, what shall I put on top? Do I put the purple jacaranda? I think it should be green, actually, down there. Let me get some green stuff. Right, I've got some jungle leaves. They're quite nice and bright. Although you won't see much with the water on top, so... go and maybe one on this side I'll do one here there we go and where's my uh, jack-o-lanterns there they are pop these down there and another two on top and then let's get the water in then and the last one there we go I'm gonna put a bit of seagrass on some of these blocks just for a bit of movement under the lily pads I think that's quite good can't put it on the leaves of course um oh it's getting dark i need to have a little snooze room now right uh i'll just put some different ones on here i've got three different types here the ones with the little lily pads and two of the big ones with the flowers in different places so i think that'll look all right i like i like a bit of blue you know i like a bit of water uh i'll have that there and we'll have the other one over there. There we go. Let's have a look. That looks all right. I like that. But I think I will put a little bit of puzzle around, especially around the pond. Let's have a look. I think I'll put two there. And put this around there and there. That's it. Okay, a bit over here, I think. There we go. Yep, that looks all right. Can I put another one there? I think that is okay. Although I haven't got any other texturing stuff, let me put another one here. I haven't put any other textured blocks in, so I'm quite happy to overdo this a little bit around here. Just a few more leaves on this bit, I think. Um, what one? up there they might go all the way up there I'm not quite sure and give them a means of getting up there uh, but I don't want to cover the logs all together let's have a look yeah that looks all right doesn't it right so lighting okay so we've got light in there and we've got one down there so that might be enough for this side but I think we need some probably maybe under the tree let's pop one down there so that's that one there and I think then maybe one over in this corner because we've got one there so we'll just spread it around a little bit in this corner and we'll have the lights around the edges as well above the border so that should work out I hope okay now I'm going to try this Johnson grass around the little stream here because I can't put reeds in there because I can't have the lily pads on with the reeds in and the reeds will mean that the ferrets can get in the water so I'm going to try those around there just to give it a reedy effect right I think I can get rid of my green backpack put that in there and because I've got all my amaranth 
um, flowers in a shulker box and I'm going to have all these different colours in here not many of them, just three or four of each of these colours so that'll make quite a lot of flowers in the end really so I'm going to spread them about a bit so when you look at it you'll have a feast of colours and some of the yellow ones some of the cyan ones those there and there and some of the purple ones. So I'll pop one there. And here. And some of the red ones. Uh, not too many of these because it's getting quite full now. A bit of grass here and there. Oh, I must remember not to forget to put the leaf piles down as well. I like putting the leaf piles on the other blocks as well, like the podzel and the coarse dirt, because you can see them better than on the grass. It's only sort of a bit of a shadow on the grass, really. Right, I think I've got everything in there that I'd like to get in, I think. So now it's time to finish off this bit up here, and then we can get the ferrets in. So I had thought of doing underground burrows for this one as well, because, as you know, ferrets, they do make a lot of burrows, but... Well, I've just done that for the badgers, so I, I just wanted an above... Oh, what have I done there? I've missed a stair out there. I have got one on me. I'll have to remember to fill that in. Um, as I was saying, yeah, I just wanted an above ground ones for the ferrets. So, so that's all I've done. Whoops, I don't want that on there. Right, there we go. That's complete. Uh, I need to put the lighting in now, actually, as well. I mustn't forget that. Right, so I think I can fit probably six lights around this one. So one on each of the corners and then one in the middle. And I think I'll put these on first, see what that looks like. I think I will need them in the middle as well. Yep, yeah, I do need them in the middle, so I'm going to put these up here and one on the other side. There we go. That's all the lighting done. Okay, I'm quite liking the look of that. Right, time to get the ferrets in. This is always the exciting bit, I find. So we've got one there, one there. The Of the corn variant, and there's a male and a female. So it's a pair. I am hoping to find some more, though. But they are super rare, as I said. So where shall I put them? Let's put them down here. Let's put them here. There's one. Look. And there's the other. There we go. Oh, listen to that. Let's have a look at them. Uh... Oh, they're down a little bit on health. Five. What's this one? Five. Right, I think I might go and get them some um, health. Just to uh, just to top them up, I think. There we go. Let me put this back on here. There we go. Oh, they're getting about already. That's, that's good. Quite like that. Right, let me put these away. Right, I just had two health potions. And... I'm just going to give them a little splash. I wonder if I could do them both with one. And these, you're supposed to be able to lift up. I don't usually lift them up like this. But let's see. Can I get you out there? There you go. Let's get you over here and give you a little splash of health. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come out. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I can't believe that. Here, be healthy. Oh my goodness me. Oh, just one small meat. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I am so sorry I killed your partner. I've only got a male one now. I'm going to have to look and look and look and see if I can find another one. Well, I want a few more actually, so... Well, I have at least one. So, but... Oh dear. Well, that's all I have time for this week. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to look very hard to see if I can find another one because I've only ever seen these two that were two, but it's now one. So, whilst I go looking, take care everybody, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>